our tag emanator simulator. And we have this red one is the indicator of a bad label was detected. So that means it wasn't able to personalize. This one means it's okay to advance. This one means the sensor has discovered a label on the tag emanator. This means it's okay to personalize. And this is the abort pin. Now we're going to start by aborting because we have been running our test for a while. So we abort and we see that we got a user abort and over here an abort. So now we're going to in input the number of pins we want. We're going to do four labels. Okay. Here now we see that it's okay to advance. Over here we're winding. So now we're going to say that we've arrived at the head of a label. Now it's okay to personalize and we're personalizing label zero. All right. Up, oh, we're done personalizing. It's okay to advance. So, and we're advancing over here. So let's see now that we've reached our top of a label. We've reached it. Oh, a bad label has been discovered. A bad label has been detected. Yes, over here. Okay, wait. Oh, what does Peggy have to say now? Label counts and a failed label ID is number one. So label number one failed. Remember that the ID start with zero. Okay, we've discovered the top of a label. Oh, it's okay to personalize. Personalizing is taking place. Up, oh, it's okay to advance. Personalizing is done. We're going to do that. Okay. Up, oh, a failed label has been discussed. It's okay. We're personalizing. All right. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, and now we're done. So here we have number of labels four, bad labels two, and over here we have number of labels four. Label count, label field IDs are one and three. So it worked perfectly.